What's up everybody, welcome to York Reacts, and today we're going to be checking out a brand new trailer from the Super Mario Brothers movie, and I'm really excited to check it out because a lot of people have been hating on the voices, but I know Chris Pratt is going to knock it out of the park. I have a really good feeling about this one, and I can't wait to check it out. So let's dive in here. Let's take a look at this trailer. Just so you guys know, I do animation for a living as well. Um, I work on video games usually. So if I see something cool in this trailer that I can kind of break down, maybe give you guys some cool insights, something that you know, you won't see in another video, then I'll do that and we'll jump in there. So let's dive in and take a look, shall we? Wow, look at this. So cool. Donkey Kong? Yes. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> nice. Not sure if you know who I am. Wow, look at Bowser. Wow, uh, this looks yeah, incredible. But there's one problem. There's a human has a mustache just like you. Wow. Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? <laughs> because I don't. <laughs> wow, look at that. The princess. Together, we <laughs> are nice. going to stop that monster. How? Look at us. We're adorable. <laughs> oh, I got this. No problem. <laughs> oh, that was cool. It's been Nice. Come on, Mario. Our big adventure begins now. Oh. <laughs> Some great animation in here. We're gonna have to do a breakdown on this. Out there. With a lot of galaxies. Wow. Whoa. Counting on us. Oh, this looks so cool. No pressure. <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> nice. Amazing. Cool. Right on. Right on. That was great stuff. I really enjoyed that. You know, that was really well done. I really love the, you know, one thing I noticed as an animator is that it, there's a few scenes in there where you can tell they've done a lot of squash and stretch in the face and they've, they've really, really pushed the, the facial shapes so that they look very cartoony and they're, they're, they're really pushing the boundaries. And I think that's a, that's a good thing. You know, sometimes with, when you have a 3D character, um, they don't do a lot of squashing and stretching like the old days, you know, with these Looney Tunes type of, you know, characters. And so it's great that I can tell that they've done some of that in this, in this trailer. So let's dive in. I want to show some of that here. So let's check this out. So I'm going to replay this trailer. I'm going to replay it back just in slow motion here, a little bit slower. Um, let's play it in normal speed first, and then once I see these sections where they're cartoony, I'll talk about them and break down some of them. One thing that I really noticed in this trailer was how how great all the textures and, and lighting and everything looks. It's got that Pixar quality. Like, look at his hat. You can see all the stitching up there in his hat. You can see all the little fabric and the buttons look really, really detailed. Normally, you know, this is a cartoon. They don't put in that detail, but it looks really nice. It looks really good. Same with Donkey Kong. You can see his fur. His fur looks great. And there's a blend there between having it look cartoony and also kind of realistic. And if you see here, look at his face. And let me see if I can slow-mo some of these parts. You see that? You can see it, it really stretching. See that? <laughs> like right here. This is a good moment of showing you. They're trying to push this character as far as they can, right? But it's they could push it even more if you ask me. Like his mouth could go even bigger and wider and crazier. And he could stretch this even further. Because... 
in a cartoon, it's okay to get way, away with that in these smear frames, they call them, when it's like in between the moments, right? In between these frames, you can have these smear frames, they call them, or these really extreme poses. And they're, they're showing a lot of that in here. It looks great. And I'm glad to see that. As an animator, as a creator myself doing these type of things, I want to see that type of stuff. I want to see them um, do the cartooniness how it should be done, right? Tex Avery style. You know, if, you, if you're if you a young person, you probably don't know who Tex Avery is, but he's one of the originators of this style of this super rubber hose animation, something really cartoony and squashy and stretchy. And the animations in here feel like that. They feel very punchy and, and squishy, and I love it. It feels great. Cool to see uh, Princess Peach up in here. She looks like a boss. <laughs> you can tell that she's got some swagger in this movie, and she's really ready to take over. You can see the Bowser castle in there in the back. Uh, really cool. If you, you know, I'm a kid. I grew up in the 90s. I was born in the 80s, and so I played these original games back in the day, and this is a great kind of throwback to all this stuff. I can't wait to see this movie myself. I can't wait to see Chris Pratt like doing a lot of these voices and seeing how well that goes. Now here, let me slow-mo this so I can show you really quick. So if you look at his face here and how he's getting hit, see that? They're really stretching the body a lot. See how his arm is getting bent and it's like flowing back like a rubber hose. Like I was saying before, that's rubber hose animation technique. And I'm, it's so cool to see that. Like, look at his face. <laughs> they really stretched it and made it really cool on this one. Looks great. Look at that. <laughs> and then right here, you can see it here again, okay? So right here, you can see him really stretch. Whoop, as he's falling. Looks great. They've, they've done a great job, like I said, on, I'm going on and on about it, but they've done a great job on the squash and stretch. And it's a big important part in these type of movies because these things can feel very stiff. Like if you look at this moment right here where they pull, when he pulls this um, and basically pulls it off his face, you can see how much it's stretching and pulling and, and warping. And that really sells how much... Um, the impact is or how how it feels when you watch it great stuff great stuff i mean come on this looks so fun flower power i mean come on this is amazing oh this is so cool this is going to be a great movie especially for like people my age and anyone who's grown up in in this era i think this is going to really really have a great throwback to everything it, it looks incredible i can't wait to watch it Hopefully you guys enjoyed some of this. You enjoyed some of the breakdown, some of this, you know, the, hopefully I brought something a little bit different to the video. You know, a lot of you guys are just going to go watch this trailer and that's about it. So hopefully um, this brings something a little bit new and you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. There's a couple buttons down there. I'd love it if you press them. I appreciate all your time and support and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.